All right. Welcome, guys. Just making a quick YouTube video. I want to try some settings. I want to see how it looks. I uh, probably need to uh, edit. We'll keep working on the Hearthstone uh, layouts and stuff. If I even want to stream it, I'm not sure. But also just for posterity's sake, I thought it would be fun to uh, record the 100 opening packs. So I got the 50 packs and then I had about 4,000 gold and then you got about 10 packs for free. So it's quite a few packs to open. Uh, I thought I'd just uh, let that be my first YouTube video. I'm also streaming it, but nobody's really watching. I haven't been up for too long. So it's mostly just for uh, exporting it to YouTube later on. So here we go. I haven't paid too much attention to the actual expansion, like as far as the cards being released, but uh, let's see what we get here. Darkshire Alchemist. So most of these cards will be the first time I see them, so it might take me a while to actually just read them all. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I'm mostly looking for mage cards. I won't really want to play mage. That one seems insane. Rare. Oh, another mage card called Source of Dark. Doesn't seem too great, but. Alright, pack number two. I'll be a bit faster. I realize there's a lot of packs to get through. I really like this card. A lot of people say it's bad or that it's too gimmicky, but I think it could be really good in the control range. Definitely want to try that a bit. Oh, that's a pretty good card. Also one of my favorite classes, so I'm mainly looking for druid and mage cards to begin with. Pretty nice. That one seems really good. This one seems pretty good as well. Mana 10 10. This card seems really sick as well. cost by one. Divine Shield mechanic, or the, the focus on Divine Shield and all that. This looks like a really good card. Gold oh, Golden Rare. If it's dead, shuffle it into your deck. Oh my god, that seems really good. It's not even a legendary. 
good stats as well. That seems great in like a control or fatigue style deck. Getting a new Cthulhu. Like imagine if you're in fatigue and you just play that card to get a new Cthulhu. Although maybe I guess it'll be a brand new Cthulhu and it won't have the stats that it had when it died. Shaman seems really strong in this expansion as well. Wow, this card's amazing as well. 410 if you have a single with Oh, oh Enzoth! One of the old gods. Summon your death rail minions that died this game. Depending on how many good death rails there are in the game right now, I'd say this is amazing. In wild, it'd be probably one of the best cards. Okay, so we have two of the old gods now. And give your Cthulhu taunt. That could probably be a bad thing. Like, I guess everyone's gonna play Black Knight these days. So you probably don't want to give him Tom. There are a lot of like just kind of like pure stat minions that give Cthulhu additional stats. So if you don't really think about the battle card, they're just kind of beefy minions. It could get a bit boring. Oh my god, Golden on the hunt. This is the best card in the game. Oh, the opposite of Twilight Rig, that's pretty cool. Wow, that's really good. I think Beast Druid might become a, a thing. Well, maybe that's not a beast. That's a pretty cool card. Deal one damage to all enemy minions. That seems really good. Mage is getting a lot of really good cards. I think maybe a lot of the classes are getting these one damage AoEs to counter all the uh, one 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 summon spells and stuff. Oh, another one of these seems really good. Opposite of Magma, Magma Reacher is pretty funny. Steward of Darkshire. This is probably one of the best cards in the game right now, I'd say. It seems really good for the, the cost. Start of your turn, put a 10 cost minion from your deck into your hand. I guess you can put Cthulhu in your hand or something. That's pretty cool. Shadow Word Horror seems really nice. Yeah. 
Contested Tarn seems pretty good as well. Maybe not really worth a 2-3-4-4, four, 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 but something a 2-2 two, two slime. A 4-1-2 drop, that seems pretty... I mean, you'd never probably want to play that, because if you're up against like a mage or something, it's not really worth it. Spreading Madness seems really well. Seems like a really cool card. Bit on the Man. Three five for four with Enrage plus two attack seems pretty decent. Three six for four is pretty good as well. It's really good actually for priests. Mark of, Mark of Visage seems pretty good as well. This one's just ridiculous. I don't understand how they could make that card. Especially in Arena, that's just going to be broken. It's a common as well. The one one equip a 1 3 seems pretty decent. Although, like, most warrior decks probably wouldn't run it since most warriors are control. But I guess it could be nice. Wow, Selfless Hero seems really good. Although, I guess you wouldn't really want to play it on turn one, so you'd have to have something out there. Another Shatter is nice. I need that. Wow, this card, Ancient Shield Bearer, seems amazing. I'm also really interested in the Warrior class. I want to play Control Warrior quite a bit, so it's a good card to have. Too interesting here. A lot of repeats. Two rares, pretty good pack. Spend all your mana gain plus one plus one for each mana spent. It seems pretty good. If you just keep that in your hand, you can always have a full turn, so to speak, if you run out of cards. Master Revolution seems pretty sad. Huh, costing one less for each totem you summon seems like a pretty unique flavor text. Draw a card for each. It's too bad it's a Warlock card. Like, Warlock rarely wants to draw a bunch of cards. 10 mana to, to clear the board, and then maybe overdrawing isn't really the best. You cast a spell freezer on an enemy. It's a bit like 2 4 for 4 isn't really that great. And freezing a random enemy isn't that great either. Too bad it's random. I like that mage is getting like more freeze mechanics. Feral Rage seems really good. Under City Huckster is very good as well. Oh, Kabbalah's Tome. Three random mage cards for five. That's great in control. I hope I get another one of those. Although maybe 
Maybe you wouldn't really want to run to your unique deck. Golden Evolve. Transform your minions into random minions and cost one more. Seems to be the new shaman thing. Good to get two of those, they seem pretty solid in the Cthune deck. Morlock board clear, or at least AoE. Potential, I think, for like their super late game warrior deck. Like, you just use a whirlwind and then you use this, and you, if you have a full board, you get a lot of cards. That seems amazing. with taunt. Hmm. And it's a Marlock. It looks like it's just a better version of the other Marlock that summons a 1-1. Although I guess the Ooze won't be a Marlock, so you trade the, the tribe for the taunt. Golden Healbot seems interesting. I guess you could use it in free stacks. Oh, now the Blood Warrior is great. Definitely want to make one of those decks. Spend all your mana, restore twice that much health. Seems pretty good. Servant of Yogg Saron. Seems really good as well. Six ten eight. Six ten for eight. Nothing on it. I guess that's like an arena card. Wow, a 2-5 for 3 is really good. Sure, that's worth five mana though. Legendary. Legendary. Nat the Dark Fisher. At the start of your opponent's turn, they have a 50% chance to draw an extra card. I don't get it. That's not really worth like two four for two. 
You give me one extra health for a pretty bad downside. I'm disappointed with that one. Another one of these is good to have. Now I guess we're just digging the village mirrors. This one's so cute. Spawn of Enzoth. Wow, I like the Priest Forbidden card. That can be a lot of fun. There's a second one of those. I've almost never played Shaman, but all the new uh, expansion cards make Shaman look pretty fun, actually. Pretty strong, at least. Oh, legendary. Oh my god, Yogg's are on. I think I have all the old gods now. Cast a random spell for each spell you cast this game. There's a lot of randomness in that. It's, it's nice to have all the old gods, I suppose. Let's do this today so far. Oh my god, Eternal Sentinel seems broken. It's all hell. That can be very annoying to play against. Plus one, plus two for one mana is pretty good as well. And like an aggro power. Forlorn Stalker seems very good. Like Hunter, they're kind of moving towards a more control based Hunter, I feel. A lot of this. Off the Slitherer taunt can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Oh, too bad he dies to Black Knight. I don't see this being played for nine mana, honestly. But if there's no Black Knight, or if Black Knight's already being used or something, that could be. I don't know. Even even if there's no Black Knight, I don't think that's worth it. So it's, oh, another legendary. So we have four now. This is going to be the fifth one. Let's see what we get. Oh my god, golden Enzoth. Okay, I have to make an Enzoth deck now.
kind of lackluster animation though. I think I saw all the golden gold gods and like there's one or two that's really cool and this one's just kind of nothing. But still it's a gold legendary. It's one of the old gods, 10 mana. So I gotta make a death rattle deck and then have a golden hands off there. So I can. I'll give. I'll probably not dust anything or create any cards too soon. I'll give the yeah. game some time to evolve and then I'll see what becomes relevant tonight. I can dust a couple legendaries as I see fit. I never like, like if I play two of something in a deck and I only have one of them golden. I never actually pick the golden one. I only play golden cards. Like if I if I play two of something, I'll only use golden cards if I have two of the same. If I only play one of something, I'll, I'll use the golden one. I like consistency, I suppose. Oh, the uh, tentacles for arms. I've read a lot about that. Like, people have uh, hated on this for ever since it was revealed. It does seem very, very, very bad. Possibly in some kind of fatigue warrior, it can be okay, but I don't. I don't see that being played. Bloodhoof Braves, they seem pretty good actually. Too bad they're warrior specific. Seems very good. 2 6 taunt within rage plus 3 attack with 4 mana. the evolved kobold as well like if you can get an emperor or something off maybe emperor has gone now emperor might be gone but uh this just seems pretty good like if you can hold on to it maybe with druid and inner race you can do some serious damage forbidden. Spend all your mana, deal that much damage to minion. Oh, that's kind of disappointing. I was hoping it'd be better than that. To minion. If it was to any character, I guess it'd be too broken. It's just pure damage spell, not that interesting. Probably really worth it. Like, if you have four mana and you use it, like, you can get six damage for a fireball. You only get four damage for this to a minion, so eh, that seems kind of bad, actually. Disciples of Cthulhu now. These are pretty good as well. 2 1 for 3 and dealing 2 damage. I think that's definitely worth it. You can compare it to the 2 2 that deals 1 damage. I'd rather have a 2 1 that deals 2 damage. And it helps Cthulhu. So the 
Iron Forge rifle and just uh, isn't getting any help. play rogue that much on I mean, this card seems bad but you can always dust them double epic another one of these eternal sentinels pretty good call of the wild oh my god summon all three animal companions for eight mana they're really pushing the control warrior I mean control hunter that seems like a really fun card like your huffer would be a five Five attack minion right out, out of the gates. I'm getting more and more interested in playing uh, Hunter when I see these cards, like a control Hunter. Some was a 1 1. Especially in like uh, Hobgoblin decks. If he's still around, I think he's still around. In standard. Golden oh my god. Golden Forbidding Healing. One for one that deals one damage to all names. There's a lot of like one damage AoE. I guess there has to be considering all the cards like Paladin has to be able to counter that, I guess. Another forlorn stalker. So I guess like a death rattle control hunter might be possible. Attack at the start of your turn. Two eight six mana. I can see that being really strong if you have if you have it in like a druid deck or something and you uh, innervate it out early, like double innervate, scaled nightmare. It's just uh, not going to end well for your opponent. I don't think. Although I guess double innervate rarely ends well for your opponent. That was an interesting card. Try that out in like a zoo deck. Oh, it's actually a war warlock specific card as well. I didn't see that first. Sargoth, damn it. So two kind of useless copies of 
Sargoth. Eater of Secrets. Destroy all enemy secrets, gain plus one, plus one for each. Wow, that seems really strong. Kinda of sucks, I like playing like Secret Mage. Oh well. Hopefully we can get one more legendary that is terrible. Five more packs or something from the, uh, the quest I haven't done yet, so I'll get five more later on. Oh, Wisps of the Old God. Summon seven one one Wisps or give your minions plus two plus two. Seems really bad, but if I remember, you get like a special Wisp minion, it's like all red and stuff. So it's a cool card, but it's probably not very playable. Especially with all the AoE spells. If you don't want to spend seven mana and then have like a one mana, a one drop, kill everything. Oh, oh wow, that's really cool. Too bad it's kind of a bad card. Alright, final pack. Come on, Legendary. Uh, damn. Oh, the Forbidden uh, Warlock. Spend all your mana, summon that many 1-1 tentacles. That seems pretty good. That seems really good. A lot of cheap stuff for Warlock. They really want you to play that zoo style. The old collection. So I have like 12,000 dust. So I can make quite a bit of legendaries. If we just type in old gods, so we're gonna get quite a few. Quite a few guys. We got five legendaries. Not the Dark Fisher, kind of bad. So two Sawgoths, really bad. And doubles. So we got two doubles. That's kind of that's too bad, but at least one of them's golden. We got all of the uh, old gods, which is nice. We have Cthulhu, and Zoth, and Yog Saron. I'll definitely try to use a uh, Zoth deck. I think if you look at like, the animation, the uh, golden gods, all the other golden gods look a lot better. Oh, I don't have all the, I don't have, I thought there were three old gods, but there's one more. But yeah, they have a lot of cooler animations. This one specifically, I think, is really cool. So we still have to get Isar's Rage Unbound. 
Doesn't seem too good though, but it'd be nice to have all the old gods. So there's one more old god to go. Alright, so that's all the packs I could open for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, this is mostly just to, to try out my YouTube channel and see the settings for Hearthstone. Uh, I was streaming this, but only to like a couple of people. Uh, my focus will always probably be Warcraft, but uh, I do play Hearthstone. I really enjoy the game. I try to play it. Uh, well, I have played it competitively in the past. Uh, I want to try to again in the future if I have some time. But mostly it'll be Warcraft 3, so don't worry about that. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, pack opening. Don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff if you want more content. And yeah, goodbye for now.